Everything evolves. Cities do, like the cities of Paris and Lyon here in France. But so does technology and people. For example, even before Michael and I started this YouTube channel, I've had a long history of connecting with others through ever-evolving technology. I'm old enough to have started on bulletin board systems, which were a precursor to the modern internet. Then I went to MySpace, which was cool, for a little while, but it went downhill so I jumped to GeoCities. It died, so I went to Yahoo 360, where users could create blogs, which were huge at the time. I even got interviewed on the BBC for my blog back when I was a bit of an activist. Then there was Facebook, and finally here with all of you on YouTube. I've made connections through all of those evolutions, but my oldest pen pal, back when they called it that, has been with me through most of those transitions. And guess what? He lives in France, but he doesn't live in Paris, where we have been for over a month. To meet him for the first time in two decades, we would have to leave Paris. Leave Paris? How could we possibly leave Paris? We've come all this way. Well, we found out that he lived in Lyon, France. What do we know about Lyon? Well, let's find out. Lyon is France's third largest city. Lyon is only a two-hour fast train ride from Paris. We learned how to purchase tickets via the app and took an Uber to the station. It was easy to find our train at the station, despite its size, and since we had assigned seats, we just laid back and enjoyed the ride. The French countryside was lush and idyllic all along the way. My pen pal turned out to be as wonderful as expected, and he and his husband showed us around their incredible city and welcomed us into their home. Hopefully you are out there watching, my friends. Merci beaucoup to you both. Their city is steeped in history. It's a city that goes back over 2,000 years, but it too is continuing to evolve. The city was a Roman settlement, and it still has beautifully preserved Roman ruins to prove it. We got a chance to see the large Roman amphitheater, which is high above the city. It was completed in 15 BC as the center of the Roman city, where 10,000 people would squeeze in to cheer on gladiator fights. Two rivers form a peninsula before they converge, and a chain of hills offers both a beautiful backdrop to the city and panoramic views overlooking it. Lyon boasts uniquely appealing architecture. The older neighborhoods harbors medieval and renaissance buildings, streets and churches, not to mention grandiose cathedrals. This is a little known fact. Lyon is the birthplace of cinema. It was in Lyon at the end of the 18th century that the Lumiere brothers, what perfect names, huh? Invented the cinematograph, a device allowing the public projection of film, which created cinema as we know it today. As major film geeks ourselves, we really appreciate this about the city. In fact, it gives me an idea on how to end this video with a little fun. Lyon certainly has great history, but let's fly into the future of the next video to learn how it's evolved into one of the best places to live in Europe.